Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love weekend reading, so some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, I can't believe the weekend is like pretty much here. So let's get started with your reading. You have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, okay? A little bit of an aha moment happening over the weekend here. And uh, children, This uh, your love life is being affected by children. Um, okay, so this is an, um, something to consider here. And let's see, maybe you'll meet someone that has children or wants to have children. And wow, possibly a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about that. Or it's a conversation about... Um, your childhoods, right? Maybe you knew each other in childhood and there's um, a connection happening over here with you and this person over the weekend, okay? But there is kind of like, like there, I'm not getting, all right, so as far as like meeting somebody new, no, I feel like you've already met someone who is kindred spirits, your, your kindred spirits. Um, and there may be this element of like, similarity between the two of you because you know children um this i'm um, getting a feeling of like a brother sister like <laughs> that kind of vibe not it's not i don't know why i have to say this but it's not a creepy vibe it just feels more like there's some kind of conversation happening here with someone that you already know over the weekend and i feel like there might be conversation or talk about your kids or a desire to have children or maybe there's grandchildren there's also conversations about like you know when you were kids when you were younger um talking about childhood or relating to each other because there might be some of a closeness in age to some degree okay so i do feel like there's also you know honestly discussing like there's an open-hearted conversation that happens over this weekend with someone you already know okay um let's see all right, let's get into the reading and see what Tarot has to say. Okay, so two knights, knight of pentacles, knight of swords. All right. Wow, these are a little bit contradicting energies because we do have someone. Um, well, I don't want to say someone. I will say there are energies of stop, uh, stop start stop start i don't know that's what they're telling me they're giving me the stop start thing over this weekend so the knight of pentacles is generally someone who kind of is someone very reliable patient hard working knight of pentacles um can be a virgo so that could be you okay and then knight of swords energy as far as um a zodiac sign does come through as <laughs> gemini <laughs> Why is Gemini always in these readings? Why? Um, it's t it's generally considered a Gemini card, but it can be Libra Aquarius. Okay, but so those are the signs. But what I feel like is going on here, there there's like one person or there's like an energy of someone's making an offer, but like it's kind of like here it is, come and get it. And another person is like charge, yes, going after it. Okay, that is so strange. Um, so it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's strange. It's like somebody shows up and then is holding out this pentacle and it's like, here, it's available if you want it. And the energy opposite of that is someone's like, yes, I want it. Yes, I'm, yes, yes, I'm coming after. Yes, I'm on my way. You know, this, this Knight of Swords can sometimes talk about like a lifestyle change or someone that's like in a hurry. This is like speed, haste, and hurry. Where the Knight of Pentacles isn't really in a hurry, you know, the horse not moving there. So um, I don't know, there's some kind of an offer that gets put out there. And there's someone else that's rushing in to grab that Pentacle. There's, there's, you know what I mean? Like as an energy. Okay, that's just, that's just the, the biggest message that I'm getting. Um, okay, you know what, we're gonna, they're telling me to go this in two different ways here, okay? This feels, so I'm gonna look at both of these energies, okay? And I feel like that's kind of like your energy over here, you're putting something out there, you're putting something on the shelf, 
and you're making it obvious and you're making it known over this weekend, but you're not chasing, you're just kind of putting yourself, positioning something, positioning yourself or positioning something. And, you know, for some of you, this could just be very simple. It may not be love. This could be something very simple that you are putting, um, I don't know, some furniture out on the sidewalk that you're throwing away and somebody sees it and while they're traveling and they come and they take it. Or you, you, there's some kids selling lemonade out on the side of the road and the, the, there's people coming in and buying the, the lemonade. Do you understand? I mean, those things could be happening, but this feels more like something is being placed to be received and another person is like charging after that. So whoever this other person is, um, it does feel like they're on some kind of a journey. Um, there might be some kind of separation where this person may not be in your vicinity, but somehow catches a glint or um, it feels like a glint you know when you're like driving down the road and you see something out of the corner of your eye that's bright and shiny and you're distracted by that i feel like i don't know you're putting out some kind of glint or uh, i don't know a bat signal <laughs> maybe you're doing a bat signal what the heck and um uh, whoever is just not looking or is distracted or is um in separation it's like they see it and are coming in your direction uh, coming towards you okay that's interesting <laughs> all right very oh so wow so looking at you you're the high priestess what's going on here um virgo you're being very uh you're you're a little vague here i see over the weekend you're you're kind of like it's like you're putting milk out for the cat and then you're going back in the house and you're like if, if the cat drinks it great if if i come out and the cat has not taken the bait or drink or had any of the milk that's fine too you're kind of like what are you doing i don't know if you're being a little sneaky or something but whatever you're doing it's working whatever you wind up putting out there it works and it looks like someone's like turns around and comes back to grab that or get that milk or grab that piece of furniture whatever you're putting out there it's something of value I will tell you that because the Knight of Pentacles, like he's holding the pentacle, it's something of value. And the value is you, you are the value. You're putting yourself in a position to be received, um, but you're not putting yourself in a position to chase. Do you know what I mean? So that that is so strong here. And I feel like Virgo, I don't know what's going on with you, but um, it looks like, especially at the beginning of the weekend, um with this high priestess energy you know that it's a little kind of like it's a little bit of a mystery like <laughs> you're putting out like a mysterious vibe it's like but it's attractive so it's like it's kind of like um what's more attractive a clothed woman or a naked woman <laughs> right i know some of you are going to be some of the guys are going to be like you know but from from maturity it's what's underneath that's really intriguing more so than you know someone just putting themselves out there completely um and it feels like that it feels like you're you're showing a little something about yourself whatever you're revealing here it's of value but it's not a lot and i feel like it's 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 attracting someone this is crazy i have never had a message like this before um or saw anything like this in these cards the way they're playing out so yeah i don't know what's going on but someone is definitely intrigued by you over this weekend beginning at the beginning of the weekend okay so i don't know it's it's almost as if someone you know, sometimes the Eight of Cups can be a card of temporary separation. So this could be somebody that you knew before. Like I said, you already know whoever this person is, you already know them. And um, you're putting something out there and I don't know, they catch it somehow. The, the glint, they catch a spark, they see out of their peripheral or somehow it gets known and they come your way. Okay, so I don't know if, if you're like, are you fishing? <laughs> are you putting some bait on a hook and, dip, and, you know, putting it in the water and just leaving your rod there? And just if you catch a fish, you catch a fish. If not, you're okay with it. it like, I don't even feel like you're holding the fishing rod so much. Um, 
and sitting there waiting all day I just feel like you're like okay I'm gonna put this here and then I'm gonna go about my business and then I'll come back in an hour or two hours and see if there's anything on the hook I mean Virgo <laughs> what the this is crazy uh, you know what if anybody's gonna do that kind of stuff um, Virgo would know how to do that yeah okay let me see this is crazy oh hello justice look at that I had shuffled my cards everything was upright all right now we've got Libra okay okay justice here on this other person's side so I feel like this this energy with this person um, I have to tell you if this is someone that you were connected with before so we have Libra Virgo Gemini and Cancer or Pisces but I will tell you this person whomever they are are sitting on the side of, of um, the purpose for them to come and take this offer that they see um, is to see if something is true um, is this true there's a curiosity here um, and, and it's kind of like it, is it, there's investigation happening this person is coming in to investigate something here over the weekend that you are either saying or something you're offering or putting out there okay um, for some of you it can be about um, well I don't know so much about making something right I, mean, I don't feel strongly about that but it, it's like the trying to find the truth like is this true okay oh wow Virgo and you got the ten of cups yeah um, whatever you're putting out there um, your intention here is to have that ten of cups for sure which is absolute happiness joy total love and support um, I think that whatever this person comes in to investigate about you or to find out whatever you're offering is that you're coming from a good place with the ten of cups you really mean something here but you are not you're not overwhelming and you are not um, coveting anybody from what I see here it looks to me like you're just kind of like well yeah my intentions good my offers real this is definitely genuine and what I'm offering here comes from a place in my heart and if you're interested come and investigate there's more behind the scenes you're not selling yourself to anybody and I feel like that's attractive and someone here is definitely you know turning the car around <laughs> and coming back in your direction to um, find out if this is if this is really truth if this is uh, coming like is this what's going on here is this fair is this right is this just okay yeah definitely like they're trying to find out if what you're offering is the real thing if you are um, for real um, and I feel like they might be doing that especially um, if this is someone that you knew before there could be an energy of um, like there's a really contemplating I, I just heard I just heard why didn't I not know this before or why didn't I notice this about you before um, so if you knew each other when you were children at some point uh, there's something different here there's there's a connection here that is not the same as if you had connected before it's different now okay maybe children bring you guys together um, if you didn't know this before it could feel like you've known each other before like your kindred spirits and I feel like somebody here is really with that seven of Pentacles um, really like gonna put in the the hard work the effort um, I feel like oh gosh It feels like like it's contemplation um give me a second here I'm, I'm being spoken to now and they're giving me different messages they're saying um so there is a little hesitation about um investing um
because this person has seven pentacles you're offering an eighth and the eight of pentacles is always a card of uh, making the effort uh, there's a message they're giving me um, they want the truth but they're also contemplating if this is going to be worth an, the effort not if you're worth it but is this going to be worth the effort why okay there's definitely um There's a new beginning happening here. Um, does This person is kind of, I, I don't know, if I don't feel like they sit in doubt, but I do feel like they're really thinking about, okay, like, I got to make, I got to put something behind me and really uh, put the effort in. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on with this other person, with this offer that you're, or this, thing that you're putting out there okay there's a lot going on with this person you know um i'm hearing do i go back or should i go back or should i restart something or do i want to like you know or yeah let me see again here i just want to take a look at the world wow peace and harmony sagittarius Um, I'm hearing somebody say, will there be peace? Will we, um, is this, is it time? Uh, will we be able to make something uh, come into union, come into harmony? Okay. So there's, there's some stuff going on here with this person. It's a deep and psychological. I have to say that. There's also perhaps some travel involved because you have um, one, two, three travel cards. So travel plays a huge role in this connection. Um, you know, especially if you knew each other before and you live at a distance and you guys are going to come together or um, just even um, how that, how something can you guys come into alignment, how that's going to work. I, f I feel like mostly, too, um, this could have something to do with um, a travel kind of thing or a long distance kind of thing, you know, um, as well contemplating how that's going to happen or how that's going to work or how you know is it worth investing in that if if for if for you this is resonating and you are in a long distance type of situation if you're not then it's not that that message is not about you um if you're not in a long distance relationship this person is very intrigued and very curious but then they're also doing a lot of heavy duty thinking and contemplation about how to start over and to you know take this journey where you both kind of come into alignment because these two cups definitely represent for me um mutuality and understanding one another and um sharing back and forth as well all right let's take a look at you this whole weekend is profound Oh my gosh, Virgo, what in the, you've got the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. Like this is stability long term. Um, this is where you're, this is the place you're coming from. Stability, long term, happy family, joyous contentment, support. Like this is what I feel like you, you are offering and what you're putting out there is real is real. That is where you are. That is where you are coming from. But I, again, I don't feel like you're overselling yourself and I don't feel like you should. I feel like you don't need to, you know, it's kind of like um, a Rolls Royce. Do you ever see a Rolls Royce commercial? No, because they're such high value. People already know they don't need to sell themselves, <laughs> you know, and I kind of feel like maybe you're getting yourself to that place where you're like, you know what, it's fine um, because I am high value. And if someone doesn't see that, then they're not for me. So, you know, I, I like, look at that. It just keeps getting better and better. Oop. <laughs> Here, here's a little ASMR. It just keeps getting better and better, Virgo. Here you are. Like I was just talking about that. You're high value 
And you're not like Virgo, the nine of pentacles is the Virgo card. Okay, maybe you've got another Virgo in your life or whomever, but it's really like you're single, you're solo, you're enjoying your life, you're happy, you're putting money in the bank, you're, you're getting some nice clothes. Like you are just content, I feel. And the nine is like you have completed the lessons. You know, you have made the transition in your life, right? And you have your accomplishments behind you. And you're still always working towards your goals. And, and you're like, Virgo, If it looks like at least during this weekend, there's kind of this intuit, intuitive thing where, you know, you realize, you know, I am happy. I'm happy. And that's why um, you don't have to, I, I don't know, you're just very intriguing to someone and whatever you're putting out there and it doesn't have to just be one person it could be many people you know um but i do see you know someone just kind of like driving by and seeing the big uh for sale sign there <laughs> and like doing a quick 180 and coming back in your direction to find out okay what's this all about what's going on here um uh, and especially like there is like a connection gets made and there is going to be some type of conversation um it could happen over this weekend. Yes, you could have someone who's intrigued and asks you or wants to know more about something that you've put out there. My God, I'm just done with this reading. I am. I am just done. <laughs> you got the lovers. There's a love connection. Heart to heart. Conversation. Vulnerability. There's two people falling in love. Or someone falling in love with you and you falling in love with another person. Like, I mean... Could this not be a better reading as far as a love reading goes for the weekend? Um, this is like two lovers meeting, coming together. Maybe you're going to meet someone at a pool party. You both be in your little bikinis or, you know, whatever. You're, it's just, um, there's definitely communication that's going to happen over this weekend. Like some heart to heart in some way or a feeling um, there's a feeling energy. There's harmony, sacrifice, loyalty, self-sacrifice, actually, appreciation. I mean, it's just like the lovers is the best card you can get. I mean, I, uh, I don't know. A, a lot of major arcana and, again, a Gemini card here. But it's Mercury ruled, so for some of you, this could be another Virgo, okay? But I do feel, also, I want to say Leo... Uh, I'm picking up Taurus and Scorpio. So I, Virgo, I just feel like something magical happens over this weekend. And, or at least the energy picks up. You know, if you're not, if you haven't put something out there, Virgo, over the weekend and this doesn't happen, then it's because you didn't put something out there. Uh, this is all coming from, you know, being based on something that you some offer something that you're putting out something of value yourself something you say something you do the pinnacle is always about the physical so it's something physical that you a, a place that you position yourself in some way to be received okay um i just want to pull a couple of more cards i want to see your messages of love for the weekend also um, this is basically, Virgo, you have to do something. You you have to do something. No, if you're hiding under a rock, nobody's going to come around and lift up every single rock to try to find you. It's it's not hide and seek. You have to give a little bit of something. Okay. Well, you've got interference. An external party is intruding on, on a relationship here. So watch out for that over the weekend as well. A third party interference. Well, it doesn't have to be third party. Just external party. And that can mean anything, uh, something that tries to block something. So whatever you're putting out there, make sure it's not beyond a tree. Put it out in the open. You don't have to do everything, but just enough to intrigue. I don't know. Put some glitter in gold and <laughs> let it catch the reflection of the sun, something. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Yeah, very strong message here. So like I said, there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart, or there's an opportunity for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation where two people honestly, openly discuss their feelings with each other. Um, 
and the message of go slow is I don't feel like it's a problem for you here Virgo um, because you have the knight of pentacles which is always like the slowest knight in the deck it might be a little bit of a problem for the other person because they are like <laughs> I got some fire lit under their butt here in their car. If if you, it, so, let's put it this way: if if your car was on the highway or the freeway, wherever you're from, um, on the road, uh, you would basically be doing 45, 30, <laughs> and this person's doing 120. That's kind of how I'm seeing. Um, this person may need to slow it down a little bit, but no, they're they're going to be like. Are coming in at you. Okay, denial in reverse. This says detach with love to clearly see the truth, but denial in reverse means don't detach. You can attach with love to clearly see the truth. Don't be in denial. Okay, attach with love. That's the strongest message here. Okay, and oh, true love. Oh my gosh. You're connecting with a true love. Definitely, Virgo. This is such a beautiful message. So listen, don't be discouraged if this doesn't happen for you this weekend. This could happen the following weekend. Sometimes I will notice. Um, you could go back to, say, a month, one of my videos. Like last year I did a, a, a video that said expect a miracle on, it was May something. And somebody i think replied who watched the video in october and and said that this video actually happened to me last week do you know what i mean so the messages are always fluid uh, i'm putting a time stamp on it and giving it to you for the weekend because i'm doing it for the weekend but understand that you could come back to this video in two weeks and two weekends later and then that's when it happens do you know what i mean so or you could you know I hope that made sense if I said that right. Um, this energy could happen later. So don't be discouraged if you've put something out on the side of the road <laughs> and it has sat there <laughs> for two weeks, okay? Um, try to remember, and I'm using that as an analogy, just try to remember that, um, I'll tell you what, if you're gonna put yourself out there, Virgo, put yourself in a place where there's a lot of traffic. <laughs> That's all I can say, because if you're out on the side, the back road somewhere and only one car comes by a week and they're not interested, you're not going to do so well. <laughs> if you're going to fish, fish in a pond that has a lot of fish. <laughs> so you up your chances of catching a fish. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. You know what? I just got back from the gym and I'm like, <laughs> I got to go eat. So I'm, I'm having a little brain fog here. All right, you guys. So. I hope you enjoy that, that weekend reading. I mean, that was a lot of fun. I will see you all back here on Sunday. I will be here Sunday afternoon, 1 p.m. Eastern for the members to do the mini readings. So make sure you pop in. If you're not a member, please do join my channel so you can ask questions for the price of like a couple of cups of coffee. And um, if not, I will see you all Sunday night. All right, take care. Bye.